Oh my god, that was so sick. Oh man, that's how you start a fucking Melania fight. God damn it. second phase. V1 is a way more like standalone classic I guess. Are we talking bananas in pajamas here? The last thing I did with Cooper before I stopped helping him because I had to go back to my own playthrough. I got him set up with a mace. Oh my god, that was so sick. I went into the fight and immediately parried her three times. I've done some pretty badass things here. I've proven myself in the first phase. Let's just do it. I've got unfinished business with her. I'll be back in Journey 7. Bitch. Good, I'm glad you get to see that. Bitch. Get parried. Now I've got some blood bleed up on top of that frost bleed up too.
It's the Starbucks fucking holiday blend. Now I can wake up, don't have to pretend. Bitch. No. No, I'm in a corner. Fuck off. Oh my god. God damn it. Oh, we're getting invaded. Here he is. That was huge. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, he didn't like that, did he? Nice. Oh, no, I'm gonna die! Oof! <laughs> that, was, that was fun. God damn it, I'm trying not to have runes. Now I have 666,666. Is it a good omen or a bad omen? Take one magic flask in my flask allocation. He's gonna drop. I'm dead. Fuck. Oh my god. Get off me.
you see us. But yeah. No! Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Bitch. Fucking go. Oh, God damn it. True Lord. God fucking damn it. That was satisfying. Oh, dear Mikola. Oh, I took 50 tries. I used 50 frill called fingers. I'm sorry. We had to summon the power of Phil Collins 50 times tonight. My man. That was still pretty legitimate. Journey 6. We've got unfinished business with her to take her down solo, parrying all the way, but we'll do that in the future. Jeez. Oh man, this is something I've never done. 
return unalloyed gold needle. Actually, maybe I did get Mikola's needle, but I never uh, used it at Plaza Do Six. Let's hit a sex. Let's take a look at the description of the needle before I cough it up because I think it's slightly different now since being returned. An intricately crafted needle of unalloyed gold removed by Millicent from her flesh bears no trace of befouled blood, but it's faintly moist with dew. There's something I must return to Melania, the dignity, the sense of self that allowed her to resist the call of the scarlet rot. We'll cough that up and we should get Mikola's needle in exchange. There we go. Fuck yeah. And a somber ancient dragon smithing stone. Bonus. Mikola's needle. One of the unalloyed gold needles that Mikola crafted to ward away the meddling of outer gods. Capable of subduing the flame of frenzy if inherited. Allowing one to cheat fate and avoid becoming lord of frenzied flame. However, the needle is as yet unfinished and can only be used in the heart of the storm beyond time. Said to be found in Farum Azula. That's in Lord Placidasax's arena, the Dragon Lord, so we'll go there and take care of that very shortly. I'm down if you want to just keep rolling with me till the end of the game at this point. I'm ready to just speedrun the rest of this. I'm supposed to be able to talk to Ronnie's doll somewhere. Okay, yeah. Oh no, oh shit, that's blithe. Ooh, there's a new grace in Ronnie's chambers. Don't remember if I ever got that before. I must have, because I looked up all the graces at one point, but... This is where I can talk to her. Nice. I take it thou hast noticed. I shouldn't be surprised. I thought I might expound a little further upon the order I envision. Mine will be an order not of gold. But the stars and moon of the chill night, I would keep them far from the earth beneath our feet. As it is now, life and souls and order are bound tightly together. But I would have them at a great remove, and have the certainties of sight, emotion, faith and touch all become impossibilities. Which is why I would abandon this soil with mine order. Wouldst thou come to me even now, my one and only lord? Okay, nice. A little bit of extra flavor text from Ronnie. And good to know that everything's still good with her ending, even though I am Lord of Frenzied Flame. Interesting. Right now, Blythe, Celevis, and E.G. are all still alive. If you follow the events, they all end up dead. I did miss some Celevis stuff, so he didn't end up dead. Surprising, I'm gonna go check it out right now, actually. Okay, yeah, he is dead. He was still appearing on the map as an NPC. But now, upon visiting him, he is in fact dead. Just missed the Melania and I recruited Jason in the end. It was quite frustrating experience so I just went for it. I have unfinished business, I will do that, but I parried her plenty of times in the process so no regrets, I learned a lot. Sorry, Blythe, but it needed to be done. Greetings, my fellow. How can I help? Unthinkable. How could Blythe? How did he break free from his cell? No. More importantly, Blythe became a curse that plagued Lady Rani. Yet, even in madness, gave himself to her. I made a grave misjudgment. And I thought myself a capable war counselor. I'll catch up with you soon enough, Blythe. When I do, I only hope you'll accept my apology. 
you will catch up with Blythe soon, EG, sadly. Right now, once I teleport back here. There he is, dead EG. There's theories as to why there's black knife assassins around EG and Blythe. Sullivan doesn't have a dead body around him of, a, of an assassin because he was an easy kill, but EG took out several of the Black Knight assassins in the skirmish before getting killed himself, and Blythe took out all the assassins. They didn't kill him at all. He was left alive. That's why we had to fight him. But the assassins were sent to kill all three, and Sullivan couldn't even kill one of his assassins. Rest in peace, EG. Okay, who else do I have to talk to? Better go back to the round table hold. Alright, well, fuck it. Get in here, Marverick. Party time. It's the end of the fucking journey. The grand finale's coming up. I'm about to get the platinum trophy. I'm on the final home stretch. Realmer's already joined up, so you're gonna join too for the grand finale. We're about to go through Feru Missoula and beat the final boss gauntlet. And after two years. I'll have beaten all six endings in Elden Ring, gotten the Platinum Trophy, and nearly maxed out my character's statistics, which I will be doing soon enough. First we have the Godskin Bros, they're not Remembrance Holders, but they're assholes, so fuck them. Then we have Malakas. Then we have Gideon, he's not a Remembrance Holder, but he's also an asshole. Then we have Godfrey slash Horaloo. Then we have Radagon slash Beast. Oh yeah, I could go see Sage Gowry follow up with the whole Millicent thing. We'll do that real quick. Okay, I gotta watch the cutscene where we burn the Erd tree down. And this time I'm gonna be the sacrifice. We get to save Melina and also make it so she doesn't have a death vendetta against us. She still hates us, but at least she doesn't want to kill us because we get rid of the frenzied flame.
to listen to the sound of the flame. May chaos take the world. Crumbling for room, Missoula. Fuck yes.